Stay tuned, guys. I'm going to show you one of the most common questions I get on the web or if I'm on a beach in a park and I get approached by people while I'm treasure hunting on how to legally metal detect in New York City. Yes, you can metal detect in New York City. It requires a permit for parks and beaches. However, there is stipulations. There's certain rules for certain parks and beaches. And I'll show you all the permit process and all the other variables in there. Please be advised, this does not include state parks. You would need separate permission for both of those places. I think state parks, you actually need a permit for each park you go to. So this includes New York City parks, New York City beaches, However, not every park is on the permit. I will leave a link below to bring you right to the permit process on where to fill it out and send it in. Hit that subscribe button if you like the info and the videos I'm putting out to keep this channel going. And I will also leave links to metal detectors that I do recommend below, anywhere from entry level to expert level. And there's even more advanced ones. I don't think anybody really needs that starting out. And I, I hope you enjoy. And this was helpful because this question does come up a lot whether I'm out or on the web, anybody new into the hobby. So putting this out to help all those people and uh, if they Google it, hopefully they find this video. So sit back and enjoy. If there's any questions I didn't cover, leave a comment below. You can also contact me. My email is in my page. Feel free to ask me anything. I would love to help anybody that's interested in this hobby. Have a great day. Okay, so here is the actual permit application that you're going to get in the link below. As you can see, I circled and highlighted where it says 2021 application. Sometimes you may get a link for an older one. You want to make sure it's current, up to date. So you're going to put applicant's name, your te telephone number, address, zip code, and the email address on the top. All new applicants should wait until the permit comes in your mail in order to go out and metal detect in the allowable places. If you already have a permit from last year and you're sending your old one in, be sure you have a copy of your previous permit. You can still use it until you get the new one. I have got this information by actually calling the Parks Department and asking that question because sometimes they're delayed and they don't get the new permit out to you right away. So just keep a copy of the last one in. Again, if you're new to this, wait till you get your new permit. Keep it on you at all times when you're metal teching. If you do not keep your permit on you, you, are, you may get a fine by the Parks Enforcement. Again, always keep it on you. Keep it clean. And to prevent something like that from happening. When you send this application in, you will be required to provide a copy of your state driver's license or other government photo identification. If your child under 18 doesn't have one of those photo IDs, you can apply for a permit, and as long as they are with you with the permit, it will be fine, as per the Parks Department. You must surrender all permits when you reapply for a new one. If you happen to lose your permit, you will be required to provide a police report that it was lost. So best advice, don't lose your permit. Keep it safe. Keep it clean and on you at all times. And you also, on the back of the old permit, must list all significant fines that you surrendered to the Parks Department on your treasure hunting expeditions. You do want to leave all the holes that you dig in the area exactly the way it was before you got there. If you are approached by anybody, enforcement, a person, be cordial, be kind, courteous. If somebody asks you to leave, don't argue, just go. There's plenty of places in New York City to hunt. Best thing to do is be respectful. If heaven forbid you get a fine, one of my friends have, and he fought it and won. Not, you know, any part of life, there's always somebody that doesn't know the rules or they, whatever reason, decide to do the wrong thing. You could always fight it in court and win or however he went about that. But, Best thing to do is be respectful, follow the rules, review them. I'll leave the link below. Now, when you download this PDF file, you're going to get a list of all the parks and beaches that are permitted to metal detect. However, you're going to see a corresponding number next to some of them. And there'll be another page corresponding that number with a rule. So if you see a beach like this, Crescent Beach Park, number 13 is next to it. Let's go to the key where it says 13 and see what that means. The corresponding 13 means you're not allowed to metal detect on raised berms or dunes for obvious reasons. They're probably there to protect the community from storms, and you're not allowed to go on them. So do not do it. You will get a fine. Also follow the other corresponding numbers. Some say some parks you could only go on the weekends, so on and so forth.
And that's pretty much it. Then you sign and date it, send it in with your photo ID, and wait for that permit. Enjoy metal detecting. All right, that's pretty much it. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Pretty much simplify it as easy as possible without dragging this video out too long. If you have any questions, I'll just answer them. This permit is free. I didn't mention that. So be safe. Any new detectorist, also be careful. There may be needles on the beach. There is lead. Sometimes you pick up lead, and if you touch it with your bare hands, you must wash your hands. Definitely do that before you eat. Residue does stay on your hands. I know that from my profession. So you have to be careful. Don't stick your hand into holes. Use a scoop or a shovel. Put everything back the way it was. And good luck. Hope you find treasure out there, guys.